Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sharia and today we are going to be party prepping. Yes, the Barbie movie came out this past Friday and y'all, I had 24 hours, literally 24 hours to put this party together and it turned out so fab and I had to come on here and share it with you all and bring you on this journey so you guys can see. So you guys can see how I was able to put this party together in less than 24 hours. Y'all, I had to literally, I, 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 I felt like I worked a miracle. As y'all know from my last video, I told you guys that I was going out of town. I was going to Mexico for my anniversary. And y'all, I returned on Thursday afternoon around four o'clock, literally headed straight to Hobby Lobby to buy everything that I needed to get for this party. Um, and, and I did have some packages waiting for me um, that I had ordered while I was in Mexico from Amazon. So I did, you know, have some things that I was kind of prepared, that I was already had um, that, that I'd ordered. But um, again, I was so surprised at how everything turned out and I wanted to share it with you all because I just, I, I love DIY parties. I love giving people ideas on different things that they do to save money. And so I was super excited about this video because if you all are planning on having a, par uh, a Barbie party yourself, then this is definitely the perfect video to watch. So I want you guys to get comfortable, um, go and get you a snack or something to drink so that you can watch this. And so if you haven't seen the movie yet, it is definitely a must-see, um, I think for all women, honestly. I absolutely loved it. I really enjoyed the message. I related to it so much. Um, I have always been someone who's kind of um, struggled with perfection and the movie was very empowering, I feel like, for all women. Um, it definitely sent a message um, about perfection not being logical. It's not something that is attainable um, because it just doesn't exist. And that was something that really, really resonated with me. And so again, I don't want to spoil the movie, but I did want to put that out there for those of you all who are asking. Some people have really been, you know, curious as to like, well, what exactly would the Barbie movie be about? And so if you're looking for something that again, will empower you as a woman and definitely um, something that's a little thought provoking about how women truly operate in the real world, um, especially versus men, I think that you would definitely find this movie to be enjoyable. All right, so I am going to stop rambling on, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stop wasting time because I wanna hurry up and get to the good stuff. All right, so here we go. All right guys, so this is the space that I'm going to be using to prep, uh, to prep the party. Uh, this is my office and I feel like this is the perfect place to have a Barbie party because it is already um, really pink. And we're just gonna improvise. I am going to, I do plan on removing my rug um, <clears throat> just so that way we can kind of avoid any foot traffic on it because as you can see, it's really light and it does, um, it's, you know, it can easily get dirty. And we are going to utilize um, the shelves here where I have my Cricut machines to hold any of the um, party favors and decorative items that we're going to be using for the party. So this is just a, a before of what the space looks like before we get started. All right, guys. So these are some of the items that I'm going to be using to prep and, um, and to decorate. I'm actually going to, this is cardstock paper that I'm going to be using. Um, this is cardstock glitter paper that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna be using this to um, make just like some Barbie heads, um, some word cutouts and, and uh, some cupcake toppers. Um, I'm gonna get started on the balloon garland. Um, this is an electric pump that I ordered from Amazon and I'm going to be using it to pump these balloons uh, to create a garland to um, use for the backdrop. 
And um, these are some streamers um, that I'm also going to be using for the backdrop. And I'm also going to be creating a DIY, um, a Barbie box. I got these items from Party City. Um, and it's just some plates and um, a Barbie backdrop. Again, still not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but I know I'm gonna need it for something. And then I purchased these um, gable boxes that I'm gonna be using just to kinda uh, fill up with like little snacks and goodies um, for everyone, which is why I'm also using the decorative shed that I'm gonna use to put on the inside. So I'm going to go over all the details of everything that I'm going to be creating in just a few but I just wanted to show you all just some of the items that I'm gonna be using for, um, to decorate. All right, y'all, so I have my niece here who's helping me to blow up the garland. And um, again, we're gonna be using this electric pump to uh, pump everything up. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna let it play. All right guys, so this is what I'm going to be using to create a life-size um, Barbie box. All it is is simply two um, trifold boards that I um, put on top of each other and it is going to um, be backless um, because I do want my guests to be able to kind of come in and out um, from and just basically go behind the box um, to make it easier. Um, I am going to gift wrap, wrap this. Um, I bought some uh, hot pink, this hot pink gift wrap from Hobby Lobby. And um, yeah, so just I'm gonna go ahead and put it on time lapse just so that you guys can see how I put this um, this photo booth together. For this project, I'm also going to be using duct tape and an X-Acto knife to hold the two boards together and the X-Acto knife is going to be used to cut the hole in the middle. Here, my friend and I are adhering the two boards together using the duct tape. We actually taped it um, along the back of the boards and also along the front just to make sure that they're secure. We used about two layers of tape because again, I wanted to make sure that it was sturdy enough so that it didn't wobble um, while my guests were using it. For this part, I used a yardstick to measure uh, about two and a half inches on each side and four inches from the top. So uh, I wanted to draw the line out before I used the X-Acto knife to cut it out. All right guys, so here is the final um, the cutout. So what I did was um, I had to cut out, um, I had to trace a hole. I measured, it's about two and a half um, inches on each side and there's four inches um, up at the top. Um, I actually had to, I forgot to slant the board at the bottom. So as you can see, I had to add an additional uh, piece of cardboard on the inside to create the slant on the bottom where I'm going to put Barbie's name. Again, I have it, <clears throat> I have it actually, uh, this is two science boards that are two, well, two trifold boards that are um, on top of each other, stacked on top of each other and I'm holding them together using duct tape. All right, I'm actually going to add another layer of duct tape to the board just because I don't want it to be 
um, flimsy. It's okay right now, but I just want it to, um, again, just be a little more sturdy. So I'm gonna add an extra layer of tape before we get started with gift wrapping. So I'll be back. All right, guys, so as you can see, the garland is just about done right now. They are adding um, the small balloons that you see here. Um, they're actually putting them in, in clusters so that they can add them to the garland. But yep, it was very easy to do. Again, this was a kit that was purchased from Amazon and it was super easy to put together. Um, I'd say it took them roughly about um, maybe 20, no, not 20 minutes, about an hour, a little over an hour to blow up all of the balloons. Um, and like I said, right now they are putting the balloons in clusters so that we could add, um, so that they can add them to the garland. Okay, y'all, so it's the next day and my phone went dead last night while I was recording me putting the gift wrap on the frame. I'm so sorry, guys, but I'll show you later how it turned out. It turned out okay. Um, right now, I'm using my Cricut to cut out the word Barbie to put on the bottom of the box frame. I used the font Dolly Script and I used the offset feature in Cricut Design to create a shadow layered effect because I wanted to have Barbie in pink text and I wanted to have the second layer that created that shadow layered um, look. I wanted that to be in white since the gift wrap was pink. I didn't, you know, I wanted to kind of offset it with the white. So I decided to go um, that route. And right now the Cricut is kind of doing its thing. I absolutely love my Cricut. I use it for all of my DIY projects. Um, it always gives it a more classic professional look and um, for, for anything that I need that's cut out. So um, if you don't have a Cricut and you're thinking about it, just stop thinking and just get one. This is actually one of my three Cricuts. <laughs> this is the um, Explore Air 2 but I have three Cricuts, two Explorer Air 2s and one Cricut Maker, but I love them all. In addition to the Barbie logo, I'm also cutting out the Mattel brand sticker to put at the top of the box frame. I used a shape that was already in Cricut Design and I sliced out the word Mattel through the center. Um, I used white glitter cardstock paper. Um, however, for the logo, the Barbie logo, I used pink glitter cardstock paper and white glitter cardstock paper, and I love how it turned out. Here is the Mattel sticker um, all cut out. Um, as you can see, the A is missing the, the little, I guess, like inside shape, so I'm just going to have to glue that in separately. Okay guys, so it is the next day and this is how the Barbie box turned out. Like I said, um, I didn't expect it to really be perfect. However, um, this was my very first time doing a DIY Barbie box and I don't think it turned out so bad. Like I learned um, through doing this what not to do. Um, and I would highly recommend for those of you who are trying this, um, if you're doing it um, through gift wrap, do not use tape, just use spray adhesive because you'll get a much smoother look. Um, I didn't realize that until I got halfway done, which was fine, but um, like I said, if I had to do this all again, I would totally just ditch the, the tape and just use spray adhesive. But again, this is how it turned out. Um, and again, I, I think that it turned out um, pretty okay considering that uh, this is my first time. And again, I'm just using it as um, a prop. Now I'm putting, I put the streamers in the back and I'm gonna have the garland to go around um, across the top of the streamers. But the streamers um, are going to just kind of be like the backdrop of the box because as I told you all before, I chose to leave the box backless. Um, so that way it made it easier for guests to come in and out. But um, I purchased these streamers on Amazon and I'm going to string another row onto the other end of the streamers that are already um, up top. This is what the package looks like and I'll definitely link all of the things that I found um, in the description below. But 
yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. Um, as you can see, I've also rearranged some furniture. Um, I removed my rug. Um, I went ahead and put um, this beautiful sequin tablecloth um, on, on the table, which is what I'm going to be um, using to set up all of like the like cupcakes and treats and things like that. Um, I did have a shelf that was over here, which is where I had my Cricut machines, but I decided to move that and put it behind the desk just to kind of use it um, as a riser um, for more things that I'm going to be adding to the table. Um, and it'll also give guests more space to come in and out um, as they come into uh, behind the box. Um, but I am now going to go ahead and finish up backdrop and the garland and so I'm going to um, you know allow you guys to see you know, well to watch um, as I complete that task so in the middle of me trying to set up the backdrop I realized that I had no command hooks to hang the garland against the wall so I literally had to stop and go to Walgreens to pick some up but it worked out fine because I actually had to go to Publix anyway to pick up the cupcakes All right, so for this next project, I decided to create uh, cupcake toppers. And so I created um, these little squares that I'm going to cut out. And then I'm going to use this, um, this bright pink, the same color cardstock that I used for, um, it's the same color cardstock that I used for the Barbie. Um, cut out logo that I put on the box. I'm going to actually use um, it to create scallops. Um, I'm going to use this puncher, scallop puncher, um, to create the scallops. And then I'm going to hot glue um, this onto the scallop using these lollipop sticks. All right. So, um, Right now I'm gonna, again, just let it record um, as you can see what I'm actually doing. Here I'm printing out the cupcake toppers using glossy brochure paper. Okay, so now that the cupcake toppers that I designed have been printed out, now I'm using my scallop puncher to punch out the scallops. Then I'm going to use my paper cutter to cut the toppers into strips. I then go in with my one inch circle puncher because I want the toppers to be um, in circles. And then I place those circle toppers on top of the scallops for like a layered effect. Um, and I'm using foam dots to adhere them because I don't really want them to lay flat. I kind of want them to pop out. And last, I hot glue the lollipop sticks to the back of the scallops. All right guys, so now that we are finished with the cupcake toppers, we're gonna get started with the gable box. Um, the gable boxes, honestly, these cupcake toppers guys are super easy to make and they're really like my go-to when I need just a quick, cute cupcake topper um, just for plain cupcakes when I'm just in a rush and I haven't had time to get like decorated ones. But um, <clears throat> again, if you're interested in these, I can definitely um, link a PDF of the file that I made um, to create these, um, just like a link to my shop. But yeah, they're super easy. Um, and like I said, it doesn't take much of anything and it does not even require Cricut. Now I'm creating custom gable boxes and I'm using permanent adhesive vinyl to cut out the Barbie logo. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to use transfer tape to put it uh, to put the logo on the front of all the boxes. I found these boxes at Amazon and I'm gonna link them in the description box below. Um, they came as a pack of 30. Um, they're super cute and they're perfect to use to store party favors. If you, so if you're looking for something um, that's not like a, a bag with, that you can kind of enclose it, I think that these cable boxes are absolutely perfect.
because I'm attentive to details here you see I'm swiping out the Target labels and replacing them with Barbie water bottle labels that I created. Alright everybody and this is the finishing touches. Um, I ended up using um, my shelf to put the Barbie boxes, uh, the Gable boxes. They basically have um, little favors, little snack pack for um, the girls to take to the movies with them. Um, here is our pink champagne that we're going to be using in our candy, um, our cotton candy champagne, our flutes. Um, here, here are the water bottles with the water bottle labels that I made. Um, these were the cupcake toppers that I made and I actually ended up using um, the leftover baking cups that I had from Valentine's Day because I thought they went perfect with the theme and so I added those to the bottom of the cupcakes. These are some macarons that I purchased from Home Goods. I just, again, thought that they were cute because they were pink. Um, I found these plates, I ended up finding these plates at Hardy City. These are just some cocktail um, cups that I found at the Dollar Tree, a Rotel dip, um, meatballs, and we actually have some charcuterie boards um, that are on the way. But yep, I absolutely love how everything turned out. Again, this backdrop came out absolutely fabulous. It was definitely quite a task. Um, I actually had to, whew, um, yeah, again, I learned the hard way to just not use tape when gift wrapping it and to use spray adhesive. But overall, even though it's not perfect, I think I thought it turned out super cute. Um, again, I chose to leave it backless so that um, the girls can kind of step have step in and out um, from behind it, and just to have easier access to it. And yep, this is everything. Um, again, I'll be putting all the links to the things that I purchased um, in the description box, um, as well as um, the links to the PDF files of the Barbie printable cupcakes and um, water bottle labels that I used. So until next time, thank you for watching. Bye. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and be sure to subscribe. I love to engage, so feel free to drop comments.